Hi yogis, today we'll do a bedtime yoga flow to get us relaxed and stretched out, getting us ready for a beautiful night's rest. Let's get started. Okay, so let's meet on our mats. Today we'll start in child's pose. So you can either use a pillow if you want to get extra comfy, or you can just do it with yourself on the floor, whatever feels best for you today. I'm gonna use a pillow because this is some nice bedtime yoga and I wanna get extremely comfy. So you can place the pillow in front of you and lay on it, or you can do it without the pillow and just lay in between your legs. Try to have a more of a wide angle with the knees here so you can really sink towards the ground. If you have a pillow, you can hold the pillow or you can bring the hands back by your legs, whatever feels better for you. And we'll just start in this restorative posture here, really relaxing our nervous system. We're just resting here in this child's pose, feeling comfy, feeling cozy, releasing tension from the back, working on our ankle joints and our knee joints. Slowing down the heartbeat. Relieving us of all our worries from today and tomorrow and just being completely in the present moment, feeling 100% relaxed. If you're looking towards one side, let's change sides just so we can even out the stretch on our neck. If you're leaning with your forehead on the ground, then you can just stay in the center. your breath and your belly rising and falling in between your legs. A couple more deep breaths here. Trying to take as deep and full breaths as you can. Really nourish the body, nourish your cells. And slowly start to come up. You can move the pillow. I'm sure even just from that position, you're already ready for bed. But we have a couple more in store. We're gonna come to Siddhasana. You can sit on a pillow if it's more comfortable for you to have an angle with your hips forward. And if it, this open knee position is too wide for you, you can place pillows under your knees so it's less pressure. You're gonna take the right heel and press it against your perineum, connecting to the sacral root chakra, your base. And just bring the other foot right in front of it. You can place your hands on your knees and close your eyes. This posture is called Siddhasana. In Sanskrit, it translates to the accomplished pose in English. It's a really amazing meditative posture. You can do this with the left knee on the perineum as well, at the left heel. Just taking a moment here in your seated pose, seated pose. Feeling your posture tall, but grounded in your sit bones. Shoulders rolling down the back, heart forward. 
Having this nice open chest region to allow you to take even deeper breaths. And we'll do a breathing technique, left nostril breathing technique to cool down the body, to calm the body, channeling our moon, Ida, female energy. We're gonna close the right nostril with the left thumb, with the right thumb, and spread out all the fingers as if you're spreading out your fingers like you're blowing a trumpet. You wanna really spread out the fingers so that it's like antennas to the cosmic energy of the universe. You're gonna inhale and exhale only through the left nostril. We'll do this for about a minute. It's recommended that you do it between three to 10 minutes every day, and you'll see amazing improvements in your stress and anxiety levels, lowering, feeling more relaxed, getting better sleep and deeper sleep. If you feel like it's hard for you to breathe through one nostril, you can inhale through the left and exhale on the right. Or keep breathing on the left. See if you can make the breath even longer. Slowly release the hand back down to your knee. And breathe from both nostrils. Seeing if you can feel that energy on the left side of your body activated. And we'll slowly come into some hand massages here, working on the pressure points in our hands. We'll start with just some circling outwards of the wrist, moving slowly and deeply, feeling the movement throughout your whole wrist. And changing direction towards the inside now. We'll interlace our fingers and invert them forward, stretching the whole upper back side. The whole upper back. Really pushing the fingers forward as much as possible. You can drop the head too if that feels comfortable. Take three deep breaths here. Lower down the hands, keeping the interlace of your fingers. You're gonna take your thumb and massage the center of your left palm, like this. Keeping the fingers interlaced, just taking that right thumb and massaging the inside of your left palm. Being circled, pressing against all the corners of your palm. Switching sides. <laughs> you want to do yoga? Just massaging that right palm, you know, over here. palms now. You'll flip the left oh. wrist down and you'll massage it with your right thumb. <laughs> the 
massaging the top of your left wrist. Switch sides, massage the top of your right wrist with your left thumb. And take the right hand forward. Facing down, you're going to take your left hand and just push on your fingertips towards you. And then the opposite direction with fingers towards you. With the palm facing forward. And then we'll switch hands with the palm facing down, pulling on the hand towards you. And flipping the hand up, palm forward, pushing on the fingers back. And the last self massage. We'll be pressing on your pressure point. So you'll take your thumb and your index or your thumb in the center of your hand. And you'll press in between your thumb and your index in this little cushion area in between. Just pressing with your thumb and your index. As hard as you can. This is a really sensitive pressure point. So the harder you press it, the more you'll really feel that pressure point activation to relax the body, relax the nervous system. Switch sides, pressing on the same pressure point on the other hand, using your thumb and your index. Pressing as hard as you can, squeezing on that pressure point. Before we continue, just give yourself an overall little body massage, squeezing the arms. Massaging the lower back, squeezing the thighs. Wherever you feel, you need to give some extra TLC and love and massaging to your body. Breathing the neck, the head, shoulders. Just for a moment here, giving yourself a little extra love and attention. And back to our seat, let's switch the position of our feet, whatever is forward, bring it back. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, left hand to right knee. Right hand comes behind the back, coming to a seated twist. You can keep the hand behind your back or trying to grab that inner left thigh. This is just a gentle seated twist. Make sure to try to keep your heart open and forward and maintain a nice, beautiful, long spine. Inhale back to center. Long spine reaching up towards the sky. Exhale, switch sides, right hand to the left knee. Left hand comes behind the back, either grabbing the left inner thigh or staying in the back of your back. <laughs> Gentle seated twist here, just trying to keep the heart open. And breathe deeply. And slowly release, inhale, hands come back to center, look up towards your hands. Sprinkle those fingers like fireworks. Energy radiating from your fingers. And exhale, release down. Let's come to a tabletop. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Feel free to adjust as needed if you need some extra space in the hands or knees. We'll just circle on the wrist for a moment. Connecting this movement to your breath. Feel free to move as slowly or as fast as is comfortable for you. Change direction. We're gonna bring that right leg 
all the way forward, coming to the outside of your hands, coming into a lizard pose, a lizard lunge. So you have a nice wide angle with the legs here. The right foot should be on the edge of your mat or even wider if that's more comfortable. You can stay here on your hands or lower down onto your elbows. Going into this deep and juicy hip stretch. Releasing any tight energy in the hip region. You can also add movement here if that's more comfortable for you. You don't have to hold it in a static pose. It's really up to you to choose what's best for you. This pose really forces us to breathe deeply and focus our attention on the present moment, on our posture, helping us relax in the long run and release tension from the body. Let's slowly come back up, return to your tabletop and change sides, bringing the left leg forward. Lowering down that back leg, you can stay on your toes or go on the top of your foot. Choosing to stay on your hands or coming down into your elbows. And again, breathing deeply, feeling the benefits of this deep hip opening posture. Staying focused and balanced, preparing you for other positions in this practice and in your sleep tonight. You really want to make sure the body is nice and stretched out. And slowly come up. Bring the leg back. Coming back to your tabletop. And we'll lift up into a downward facing dog. Hips come towards the sky. Again, feel free to choose any angle in your legs or hands. Maybe more of a wide angle. So feel super relaxed here, stretching the hamstrings. From here, we'll bring the right foot forward and turn towards the left, coming into a wide angle fold. The toes will face forward and make sure they're more towards the center than, than the outside rim of your mat. So the toes should be pointing more towards you than out. And slowly release into your wide angle fold. Pressing onto the external rim of your foot, to the edge of your feet, not towards the center. Taking a couple deep breaths here. You can stay up on your hands too if you want to work more with a straight spine and have less pressure on your head or just relaxing and resting completely in the pose. Both have amazing benefits towards relaxation. Any pose where the heart is above the head allows more blood flow to return to the heart, making it work less hard, providing more circulation to the brain, feeling more calm, less anxious, Taking a couple more deep breaths here. You can make sure the head is relaxed by doing no and yes with the head. If that's comfortable for you, you don't have to. It's an option. And let's turn back towards the right foot. Coming back into our downward dog slowly. Walking the feet step by step towards our hands very slowly. We'll grab opposite elbows. Our legs are at a bit of a wider angle here, a bit wider than hips distance. Grabbing elbows and coming into a dangling forward fold, just rocking side to side. You can bend the knees as much as feels comfortable. Just moving the energy around in your hips. Completely releasing from your back, feeling 
nice and spacey in the whole back. Drop your hands to the ground and let's take a seat. The legs will come forward and we'll come into just a seated forward fold. So the hands will come up, inhale, exhale and reach forward towards your legs. You can choose to do this in more of a passive way or an active way, it's up to you. We'll be here for about a minute. Breathing deeply, connecting to your posture, connecting to this beautiful stretch from the back, stretching out in all directions, stretching out the legs. <sighs> Feel free to use props whenever you want. If you want to lean against a pillow or a bolster or rest your head on a block, Props are always welcome when we're trying to relax. I highly recommend it. Taking a couple more deep breaths here. Slowly start to come up. We'll do the same thing, but just with one leg coming into head to knee pose, Janu Sirsasana. So we'll bend the left leg, bringing the inner foot towards your inner right thigh. Inhale, the hands will come up. Exhale, bring the head to knee on your right leg. If you need more space here, you can always make the angle a bit wider. And just go towards the right leg. Again, you can choose to work here actively or passively. It's up to you. And see how with each breath, your body becomes a little bit more relaxed, goes a little bit deeper into the posture, allows a little bit more space for gravity to do its work. And slowly come up, let's change sides. Bending the right leg, sole of the foot, on the inner left thigh. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, leaning towards the left leg as much as possible and just holding there. Wherever you are, just breathing deeply, close the eyes. Try to channel your inner wisdom, your inner body all the sensations you feel without any judgment or thoughts to interfere. And we'll slowly come up. And we're coming to a reclined bound angle position. This I recommend to use with a pillow. Unless you're feeling extra flexible today and just want to open up your body to the world, which is also okay. You can do this without a pillow. Leaning against the pillow. You're going to bring the soles of your feet together in the bound angle position and start to recline back onto your pillow. Allowing your heart to really be open without any work. It's just happening naturally. The shoulders falling towards the sides. Your hands can be by your sides. 
or on your belly. Taking a couple moments here. If this hip opening posture in your legs is too deep, you can place pillows under your knees. That's also a nice prop option in this posture. Breathing deeply here, feeling how much space there is in your chest for beautiful deep breaths. Free to stay here with the hands by your sides, or you can join me in bringing one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly to connect to your breath even more. Feeling the movements of your breath against your palms. Couple more deep breaths here. Connecting to the movement of your breath in and out, up and down. Slowly release the hands back down to your sides. Take a couple more deep breaths here, feeling your shoulders melt off the sides of your pillow, or just feeling them melt towards the sides if you're on the ground. And let's slowly release out of this posture, moving the pillow. We'll come onto our backs for a moment, coming into the happy baby pose, grabbing the outsides of our feet and rocking side to side, massaging our backs for a moment in this nice hip opening posture. Channeling that inner happy baby energy, that calm and peaceful energy of a child. And slowly release the legs. We'll come into legs up on the wall if you're by a wall. You can practice it with on your legs on the wall, or if you're by a chair, you can practice with your legs up on the chair. So the best relaxated posture, I'm gonna place them on the chair so you can see me step. The point here is just so that your whole back is resting on the ground, feeling the length of your spine. Legs are 
inverted, so we're releasing circulation from the feet towards the center of our body. They say that sitting in this posture for at least 20 minutes is equivalent to taking a complete nap. So it should refresh you just the same way a nap does. Just be here for a minute. I truly recommend sitting in this posture for as long as you can, whenever you have the time. Just reversing the effects of gravity, relaxing the entire body and the nervous system. You can also do this with a pillow under your hips, under your lower back, if you feel any tension there from the pressure. It's just another props option. You could try it out at home and see if that's more comfortable for you. Taking a couple more deep breaths here. And then slowly release out of the posture. Then find your Shavasana. It can be whatever Shavasana is most comfortable for you. Either laying on the ground on your back or laying on your side. Um, I'm going to read to you a yoga nidra method. Yoga nidra is a meditative method um, to practice inner awareness, really go into your inner wisdom, your inner consciousness, your subconsciousness. So get into a comfortable position, getting into your final resting posture. I'm going to read this to you. Start by taking a couple breaths. Really releasing and melting into your Shavasana. Let your body sink into the floor. Feel 100% comfortable. If you don't feel 100% comfortable, Please bring as many blankets and pillows, put socks on, whatever it takes for you to feel so comfortable. Shift and move a little just to let your body settle in deeper into the ground. See whatever you need to do to just get into that right juicy spot for you. Be comforted that at this time, everything is okay. Nothing else matters right now. Everything is okay. Nowhere to go and nothing to do. Here you are to simply feel your body and listen. Do not worry or become agitated if you do not hear everything I say. It is natural to flow in and out of conscious hearing in the yoga nidra practice. The deepest part of you, your core self, is always listening. Whatever you experience today, this practice will still work. There is no way to do this wrong. Go deep inside now. Deep inside to notice your heart's deepest longing. What does your heart desire? 
Create a sankalpa, which in Sanskrit translates to an intention, affirmation, based on your heart's longing, a positive statement in the present tense, as though it's already happening. For example, I flow through life with ease and peace. I am relaxed. Create an intention for yourself based on your heart's desire that's said in the present tense. Then, come up with your own intention and state it three times as though it is already happening. Allow your awareness to travel through your body now on a journey of sensation. Simply feel each part as it is mentioned without moving, remain still. Welcome all sensation just as it is. Then begin with the mouth, feel your mouth. Feel the sensation in your mouth. Start to feel your jaw, your lips, your upper lip, your lower lip. Notice where the lips touch. Feel the inside of the mouth, roof, under the tongue, the upper teeth, and the gums, the lower teeth, and the gums, tongue, your root of the tongue, center of the tongue, the tip of the tongue. Notice sense of taste in the mouth. Feel the left inner cheek and the right inner cheek. Feel all the parts together now as a whole. Feeling your whole mouth as sensation, as energy, as radiant vibration. Take a moment to scan your whole body with me, just feeling the energy in each area. Starting from your feet, your toes, your heels, your ankles, your shins, your calves, your knees, thighs, hips, glutes, belly, lower back, mid back, upper back, chest, shoulders, upper arm, lower arms, fingertips, neck, all the way to the top of your head. Covering all these points in your body, making sure they're all completely relaxed. Begin to notice your breath, your natural breath as it flows through you. Feel the breath, note the breath out, and as you exhale, imagine a wave passing downward through your body, carrying away your tensions. As you inhale, a fresh wave flows upward through your whole body, bringing sense of calm to every cell. Then exhale, the wave is flowing downward through your body, carrying away your fears. 
and inhale that fresh wave brings serenity to your whole body. Take a couple more deep breaths here. Feeling that big wave of energy up and down your body. Releasing tensions and fears and anxieties on every exhale. And bringing in serenity, peace and love with every inhale. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes, letting the body move however it feels it needs to after that yoga nidra practice. Channeling your inner subconscious, your inner body, your inner thoughts, inner sensations. And we'll slowly meet each other in a comfortable seat. So coming out of your restorative Shavasana, you can keep the eyes closed, just feeling the circulation flow back down through your body. Taking a moment to feel how relaxed you are. How ready you are to jump in bed and take a beautiful night's rest. Bring the hands to heart center and start rubbing the palms to create heat and energy, healing Reiki. And provide that energy to your body again, giving yourself a little self massage, providing that heated energy from your hands to wherever you need. Do it one more time, rubbing the hands together. And cover the eyes without any pressure, making circular motions with your eyeballs. Sometimes the eyes need to stretch too. And change direction, circling in the other direction. Slowly bring your hands out in front of you, looking into your palms, allowing your eyes to blink and refocus on all the details in your hands, your own hands, showing you the lines of your life, past, present, and future. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the practice. If you like my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a beautiful evening and a restful sleep ahead of you. Thank you. Namaste.